Hello everyone, this is Seper, Microsoft Tech Specialist Solution Architect in AWS. We're going to see how uh, the Group Managed Service Account feature in Windows can be used to perform Windows authentication for applications running in Windows containers in Amazon Elastic Container Service. As an example, we have a simple ASP.NET MVC application running inside a Windows container. This application uses Windows authentication to access a backend SQL Server database. To see all the moving parts in a glance from a higher level, first you need a Windows container image that includes the application which is configured to use Windows integrated authentication. Then you need an ECS cluster on which the application container can run. All the container hosts in this ECS cluster should be joined to your Active Directory domain. The SQL Server instance is also obviously joined to the same Active Directory domain. Then we need to create a managed service account on that domain. Using this service account, then we can create a credential spec file and store its content in a uh, parameter in AWS Systems Manager parameter store. This parameter is accessible by our Windows containers. Having that infrastructure in place, now you can see the workflow of how Windows authentication takes place. The Windows container fetches the, the uh, credential spec content from parameter store. It then passes that credential spec to its underlying container host. Inside Active Directory, we've authorized container host to retrieve password of the service account associated with that credential spec file. So the container host is going to use the credential spec content to retrieve the Kerberos key and then pass it back to the Windows container. Having acquired the key, now the Windows container is able to authenticate itself and access the SQL Server database. Now let's go and see how all of this works in action. In order to run Windows containers with Windows authentication, first thing I need is a ECS cluster. So I'll navigate to ACS uh, console, all right, create cluster. I'll select EC2 Windows plus networking because I want Windows containers. I'll give it a name. And finally, uh, I need to select a container instance I am role. And because I want to manage my container instances using AWS Systems Manager, as you'll see later, I'll select this role, which grants permissions for a Systems Manager agent. There you go, the cluster is ready. I can view my cluster and here it is. Now, if I navigate to the EC2 console in the auto scaling page, you can see there's a new auto scaling created with the name where it relates to uh, the ECS cluster that I just created. And this auto scaling group includes a number of EC2 instances. Now, next thing I have to do is to join these two instances to my Active Directory because I want to use Windows authentication on my container. So my container hosts have to be joined to Active Directory. I need to go to Systems Manager console. So let's navigate to AWS Systems Manager. Now I can go to run command. From there, I can select run command and I'm looking for AWS join directory service domain. I have to enter the parameters. I'm selecting my target instances using tags. Uh, auto scaling group that was created by my ECS cluster. I'll run this. Okay, as you can see, the two instances are now joined to Active Directory. That's what we expect because the run command has successfully completed. So let's uh, check that in Active Directory. This is my Active Directory. I'll go to Computers, I'll refresh it. Uh, we need to add these two instances to a Active Directory security group. I've already created a security group. This is my security group, GMSA Container Security Group. And if I go to members, there's one member that's my domain controller. I've included that here because I want to manage the GMSA from my domain controller. If you're managing your GMSA accounts from another computer, uh, you can add that computer. But I also have to add my two EC2 instances that just joined to Active Directory. So I want computers.
All right, now I have the two members joined to active directory. Now, why is this required? We'll see it in a minute. All right, next thing I have to do, I have to prepare my domain controller. This is a one-off activity. Once you do this on your domain controller, for subsequent deployments, you don't need to redo this step. It's just a one-off activity. And in production, you have to use this command and it will be effective after about 10 hours when all the domain controllers are synced up. In a test environment where you have a single domain controller, like uh, the one that I have here, you can use this other command. Now, Active Directory is also prepared. Next, we have to install the uh, credential spec module because we want to create a credential spec file that we will use in our Windows containers to obtain the Kerberos key and be able to uh, perform Windows authentication. So first we have to make sure you're using the TLS 1.2 otherwise you might get errors when you try to install credential spec from PowerShell gallery. So I'll do that and then I'll have to define a number of parameters. What are these? My domain name, the account, the managed service account that I'm going to create. GMSA test user is the managed service account. And also I'm going to get the security group object. You can also see it, it has all the properties of my security group. Then I'll create the service account. So it's checking if the service account with the name we specified here does not exist. It goes ahead and creates it. And it's also allowing uh, these principles to retrieve the credentials the password of that service principle. These principles are any object that's inside the security group that we specified here. So that's why I need to add my container hosts to the security group so they can get the credentials on behalf of the container for the managed service account. Let's see if we have that. Yes, GMSA test user. The next thing I have to do is to create the credential, retrieve the credential spec file. New credential spec with account name of my uh, account, GMSA test user. I want to see where the file is. So this is the path. Program data docker, credential specs, you can see it here. This is the same path and this is my JSON file. So let's open it and see what's inside. It's a JSON document with information about the service principle. Um, I'm copying this. Now let's go back to AWS console. I'll move to systems manager parameter store. Now you can create a new parameter and enter the content of that credential spec file in it. I've already created a parameter before. I can just simply update it. So I have this parameter, GMSA cred spec, inside AWS Systems Manager Parameter Store. So in my SQL Server instance, I'll go to Security, Logins, I'll create a new login here. It's a Windows Authentication login. I'm searching my Active Directory domain, and I'm also including service accounts. So I'm looking for GMSA test user. There it is. And here it is. So my new login is now created. I have a database, a test database called Bookstore. I'm going to add a user, GMSA test user, same name, login name. Browse, here it is. If I have an application that's containerized in an image, I can upload it to ECR. I've already done that. Uh, if I go to Elastic Container Registry, I have this application, uh, Container MVC, which is using Windows authentication to access the database that you just saw, Bookstore. Next thing I have to do is to deploy a container task or a service using this image in my cluster. So I go to my cluster, GMSA test cluster. Uh, let's first check the task definition. So I've already created a GMSA uh, test task. Uh, nothing special here, the same task definition you see for any other Windows container. The only thing to be mindful about is this option, the Docker security options. And as you can see, it has this credential spec 
ARN AWS, the ARN of the parameter that we just saw I created in parameter store with the credential spec information of my uh, managed service principle. If I open this, you can see the image is my uh, ECR image. The Docker security option is set to the ARN of my parameter store Very. We have this task definition. Let's go to clusters, GMSA test cluster. And I'm going to create a service uh, using this task definition. It's going to be for EC2. This is my task definition, GMSA test task. Uh, the cluster, service name, number of tasks, let's say two. The rest are fine. Next, I'll create the service. Two tasks are being created. Okay, as you can see, the status has now changed to running. The application is up and running. To see if it's also able to access the database, this is what I have in my database, a table called books with these entries. Now let's go and see if I can access those books from the application, which is using Windows authentication. And as you can see, I can access the same entries from the application as well. Now, one thing to remember is your user must have permission to access it. So I've set it to DB owner so it can access the data. Let's also see if we can add an entry. Author first name, Seper, last name Sami. Customer review is five. Price is fifty dollars. Book language English. Publisher Amazon. As you can see, a new entry has been added. Windows containers, and the create created by field is showing the GMSA test user, which is indicating it's using Windows authentication to access the database. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.